welcome once again to Saddleback Church. As you know, we've been together now for about two years, a little over two years. Every six months we get together and we have a different level of training. We've talked about the purposes of God. Preaching. Leadership. Small groups. And today we will talk about ministry. We have six sessions today. I hope we can do this. <laughs> so we will be working very hard together. When we talk about ministry here at Saddleback Church, we use a word in English, it's the word shape. This comes from the book of Job. In Job chapter 10, Job says, God, your hands have shaped me and molded me and made me who I am. We believe that no human life is an accident. So God has put inside of you everything that he wants you to have to make your life successful. As believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive some special attention from God. And this is the gift of the Holy Spirit as He gives to us our spiritual gifts. So everything begins with a spiritual gift. The second thing that we will talk about today is your heart. We are going to use this term as it's defined in the Bible as the source of all of our human emotions. The heart is where we find our desires. Our heart dictates the passions and sets the direction of our life. Our third lesson today will talk about your natural abilities. Some people say, well, I don't have any abilities. But today, scientists say that every human being has at least 200 special abilities. And most of these abilities belong to you, and they don't belong to the neighbor that you're sitting with this morning. Each human being is very unique. The fourth component that we will talk about this morning is your personality. We will have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> Everybody has a different personality. And we are going to laugh when we get to look at our lives today. The fifth component in the word called shape is your life experience. In this 
This will bring us to a very powerful conclusion today. Some people believe that their life has taken place and it is just a random accident. But that is not true. God has lovingly watched over every detail of your life. There are many experiences that you can never control. We can't control who our parents are. We do not control our nationality. Other factors like family. Education, job experience, even spiritual experiences are unique to every human life. But today, you will be very surprised when we talk about one life experience that can often be confusing. This is the experience of personal pain. Without Jesus Christ, pain does not make any sense. And people often ask, God, why did this happen to me? We will see today that even in the painful moments of your life, God has been there to mold you and shape you and make you the person that you are today. Now let's stop for just a moment. I think you would agree with me that these five topics are very fascinating. These are God's gift to you. And in these words that we will share all day, you will find great strength and great hope. So before we spend one more moment together, please allow me to pray. Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessing on every man and woman here. We pray, dear God, that you would bless our children and our families that may not be with us here this morning. Watch over all of our ministries so that we have nothing to worry about and that we can focus on you. We start this morning by saying thank you for our lives. It is very true what King David said in the Psalms. He said that we are wonderfully made. And we are made to be very complicated. So we thank you for our lives. We will offer them up to you this day in worship. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today, I am going to be sharing with you a series of six messages. These messages can be made available to you so that you could preach them to your congregation.
If you take good notes today, you can preach them quite easily. So that's six weeks of free messages. Now you can take that vacation. <laughs> now, these messages are very special in the history of Saddleback Church. When we talked about preaching, I shared with you that we always preach in a series of messages. At the end of a series, we always have something that we want to accomplish. These six messages started class three, which is our class that shares ministry with all the members in our church. Ministry is a problem for most churches. Only 10% of the people do 90% of all of the work. And so this is, explains why you're so tired today. You need help. After these classes began at Saddleback Church, we immediately went to 50% of our members being active in ministry. This is not an unusual result, and we see this all over the world. <coughs> this series is powerful because it asks the, it answers the question that says, does my life have meaning? So when people discover their shape, they also discover their purpose for living and their purpose for serving God. And in this way, the, the number of your ministers will greatly and dramatically increase. I think I shared with you that I was a pastor of a small church about 100 miles from here. At a time when I had 300 people coming to my church, I offered class number three for the first time. Class number three is our ministry training class, and it contains all of the material that we'll speak of today. At that first class, I had well over 100 people attend and start or join a new ministry in one Sunday. Now that's amazing. But because so many people were working, my church grew from 250 to 400 after that very first class. It took one year to grow. Sorry. That was horrible English. Can you break it down a bit? Yeah. After the class, and people were serving in ministry, the church grew quite rapidly. We grew from 250 to 400 members that year alone. Something happens when you give the ministry to other people in the church. You will hear something amazing. Many people will come to praise you. 
They'll say, Pastor, you preach very well. You have a great church. Pastor, this church is a great ministry. You are doing it well. But when you give away the ministry, let me tell you what to listen for. Pastor, we have a great church. We are doing a great work together. I'm so proud of what we are doing in the world around us. Ministry, ministry will give ownership to your people and your church will be changed forever. So let's begin. And let's study very hard today. It won't take you long to realize that God loves variety. There's all kinds of people in all kinds of nations. All kinds of birds, all kinds of fishes. All kinds of trees, all kinds of flowers. God loves variety. In fact, even in the world of bugs, I learned that God has created 360,000 varieties of beetles. John, Paul, George, Ringo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> in one cubic foot of snow, there are 18 million snowflakes. All of them are different. God has made you and I to be absolutely unique in all of creation. You will find the scripture written in your notes. Psalm 139. Says God, you created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. It's amazing for me to think about. Your workmanship is marvelous. In Job, it tells us, your hands formed me and shaped me. These are the words of a potter. It's as if lovingly he has taken your life in his hands and molded and shaped you even before you were born. Let me share some simple ideas with you. Number one, you can write this into your notes this morning. Oh, and I think they already have the fill-ins. Yes, they do. Okay. I, uh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> I am unique. <laughs> There's nobody in the world like you. No two people are alike. You are different from every human being who has ever lived. Number two, you are very complex. I like the scripture when it says you are wonderfully complex. God has made us in a loving way. Have, have you ever been Surprised by the way you think about certain things? Have you ever been surprised by your reaction to life? 
，你有没有觉得，哎，我怎么会对这某些事情会有这样的想法、反应 ？Why did I do that? 我怎么会这样做呢 ？What's wrong with me? 我难道我有什么毛病吗 ？Or even in times of success, we're amazed. 就算你做事做得很成功的时候，你都会觉得，哎，这是很不可思议的。How could I do that? 我这怎么可能会这样做 ？I never thought I could do that. 我从来没有想到我会这样做。We are wonderfully complex. 我们真的是很奇妙的复杂。Sometimes we think, what's wrong with me? 有的时候我们会想说，是不是我有什么不对的地方 ？Nothing's wrong with you. You are simply wonderfully complex. 我要告诉你，你。没有你，你是很好的，正常的，因为你是很奇妙的。神创造了你。God has made you to be unique. 神特别创造你，这样子你是一个独特的。Number three. 第三。I was shaped for a purpose. 我被塑造是有特别的目的。Everything that God has created in the universe, He created with a special purpose in His mind. 神在创造万有的时候，在神的心心里，他有一个特别的目的。Your life is not an accident. 你的生活，你的生命不是偶然的。Your life is not a mistake. 不是一个错误。God didn't sit down at a computer and press in a bunch of random numbers and you came out. 神不是坐在一个计算机或一个电脑前面，就是按几个键，然后创造了你。The words that are used in the psalm tell us that God very carefully and with love in His hands put together every fiber and part of your being. 在诗篇里面，我们看到神是用他无比的爱，用他奇妙的作为，把你每一个纤维、每一个细胞，他仔仔细细创造的。This is a big truth. 这是一个很深的一个真理。You are who you are because God made you who He wanted you to be. 你是独特的，因为神要造你，就是要造一个特别的你。Those words are such a wonderful blessing. 你知道这些话是一个祝福的话。Here are the five parts of our God-given shape. 那神给我们的特质里面有五方面。The letter S. In the English word "shape" stands for spiritual gifts. 在英文的字里面的 S 表示属灵的恩赐 spiritual gift. The scripture says each man has his own gift from God. Someone has this gift, another person has another gift. 我愿意众人像我一样，只是个人领受神的恩赐，一个是这样，一个是那样。When you believe in Jesus Christ. Everyone is given at least one spiritual gift. 当你信主的时刻，每个人都领受了一样恩赐。You may get many spiritual gifts. 有的时候你会有多项的恩赐。But nobody will get every spiritual gift. 不过不是每一个人会有所有的恩赐。This teaches that we need one another in the body of Christ. 这个教导我们一件事情，就是我们在神的家中，在神的身体里面，我们是互相需要的。The letter H. 那下一个英文字是 H. This stands for heart. 这个意思是你的心 This is the part of the human life where we get our motivation. 这一句这这个心就是在我们做所有事情的动机里头。这个心是推动的，推动这个动机的 Each of us has a different motivation, a different source of passion. We all have different. Interests in life. We all have different motivations. The pull of our energy is different. Some things you take very seriously. In some things, you are very serious. Other things you don't care about. Other things you don't care about. This is a reflection of what the Bible calls your heart. This is a reflection of what the Bible calls your heart. The Bible says this. God has put it into their hearts to accomplish His purpose. 圣经上说，因为神使诸王同心合意，遵行他的旨意。The Scripture says it is God who is working in you to inspire both the will and the deed for His own chosen purpose. 啊，那下一句的圣经啊是讲到菲利比书。
因为神在你们的心里运行，为要成就他的美意。So God gives you the motivation. 所以神给了你一个动机。He sets the direction. 他给你造了方向。He gives you the knowledge. 他给你了知识。And he gives you all of the skills necessary to accomplish his will for your life. 然后他又给你了各项的能力，让你能够造就你该做的事情。This is amazing. 这是非常奇妙的。The letter A. 啊，下一个字是 A. This stands for your abilities. 这个是讲到你的能力。Now these abilities are not spiritual gifts. 这些能力并跟属灵的恩赐不一样。In the life of the believer, the Holy Spirit gives spiritual gifts. 在一个信耶稣的人身上，圣灵给你属灵的恩赐。But every human being is born with certain gifts of natural abilities. 可是每一个人生来都会有些与生俱来的能力。First Corinthians chapter t w says there are different abilities to perform service. 在哥林多前书里面提到功用也有分别。Everyone has about 500 abilities. 每个人至少有五百种不同的能力。200 of those abilities are going to be unique to your life. 在这五百项的能力里面，通常有两百项对你讲是一个比较特别的，只有你才会的。Some people we we can read. 有的人可以读书。Write. 可以写。Some people are good with numbers. 有的人对数字观念特别清楚。Their minds are naturally good with working at numbers. 有些人的脑筋就是对数字就特别清楚。But there's another group of people, and their mind works best with words. 可是还有另外一些人就是对文字他们特别有兴趣。Some people are born, and they can sing so beautifully. 有的人一生下来，他就有一个非常美好的歌喉。Other people take singing lessons for a year, and they still sound horrible. 有些人就算上了一年的课，听起来还是很难听。They have the desire, but not the natural ability. 他们有这个热忱，可是他们没有这个与生俱来的能力。And God somehow has given us these abilities even before we were born. 神在我们出生以前就把这些能力给了我们。In in the book of Exodus, it says. I have given them skills and ability and knowledge in all kinds of crafts. When God was talking about the people who would build the temple, 在出埃及记里面提到，我以我的灵充满了他，使他有智慧、有聪明、有知识，能做各样的工。These people were gifted by God because He saw that one day they would be building His temple. Your abilities are specially chosen for you by God's grace. Because it is God's grace, you have the abilities that God has given to you. The letter P. The next one is about the English word P. This stands for your personality. This is about our personality. Now, everybody has a different personality. Every person has a different personality. And all of us have different attitudes about life. We think about life differently. 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 Say that an average human being has a makeup of over 18,000 character or personality traits. 有人做研究讲到说，人一共有一千八百种不同的个性，跟你的呃，你你的想法个性。That's amazing. 这是很奇妙的。That's why in a room like this, there's only one of you. 那就是证明说，像这个房间里面充满了这么多人，可是只有你跟其他人不一样。And in most cases, one of you is really all that we need. 事实上，我们也只需要像这样一个你就够了。Our personalities are very unique. 我们的个性都是非常独特的。And then the letter E. 最后我们来到啊 ，letter E， 呃 ，E 这个字。
This are this represents our life experiences. In Romans chapter 8, it says, We know that everything that happens to us is working for our good if we love God and we fit into His plans. God is organized and He has a very specific purpose for every life and the design of your life. Even the bad things that have happened in your life have a unique place in God's creation. Our final session today will talk about that very deeply. Now, let me, let me draw this brief introduction to an application point. Because this will set the course for the rest of our day. All five of these factors are interrelated. You are a very complex combination of spiritual gifts, heart, abilities, personality, and life experience. Number two, your shape that God has given you is fixed. It's solid. It is a constant in your life. God has made you in a basic way that has been true about you for your entire lifetime. What happens then when I am converted and I come to faith in Jesus Christ? God doesn't stop you and slow you down. He simply redirects you and changes your direction. And when we think about this, we can see that each of us has changed direction radically after we came to faith in Jesus Christ. When, when I was a little boy, I used to love to tell jokes and be funny in my house. Today, I still like to tell jokes and be funny. It never changes. Children who are very good at cleaning their room and studying hard will spend their whole life in very disciplined labors. Who we are is who God made us to be. And then number three. My shape is irrepressible. You cannot stop being who you are. Sometimes we will try to force people to do things that they are not shaped to do. As leaders, we have all had this experience. We've tried to give a special ministry assignment to someone, and you know that they're not comfortable with it. So over time, they're not doing it your way, they're doing it 
their way and taking it a whole new direction. So time Sometimes this is not rebellion, it's just an expression of their shape. Now, this is why this is so important. One of the biggest problems that we face in the church is that we don't have enough volunteers, and when we do have volunteers, they always quit their ministries over time. Now, if we learn to teach shape and find ministries that fit a person's life perfectly, they will be happy, successful, and they do not leave their ministry. A pastor's dream is if he can find someone who will stick with their ministry for at least a year. But if you can put people into ministry that matches their shape, they will serve for a decade and be very happy. When I discover my shape and my ministry, I'm not discovering a job in the church. Instead, I discover my life's purpose for living. Can you see the difference? It's this simple teaching that we will learn today that will unleash great power in your life in ministry at your church. Here are some simple promises that I would like to share with you. When you place people in ministry because of their shape, it reduces stress in your life and in their life. When we accept the idea that we are all unique, that means we don't have to compete with one another anymore. I can appreciate you for who you are. When you succeed, I'm not jealous. Because I know that God will give me success in my own way. Placing people into ministry in this way eliminates stress that comes through comparing different lives. Number two. It will increase your success. Some people have to work hard at defining success in their life. They say, oh, if I'm successful, I'll make a lot of money. But money is not success. Success is becoming the person that God has made you to be. Success is discovering God's will for your life and finding that you are at the very center of God's will. Number three, 
第三 ，teaching shape in this way will deepen the satisfaction of your ministers and ministry. 当你这样去教导这样的特质的时候，每一个人都会觉得心里非常满足。When sometimes when people think of ministry, they think of it as a job that they have to do every week. 有的人想到事工的时候，他们会把它想成一个工作，每个礼拜他都来做。But when you put people into their ministries that have been designed by God, they're happy and they're fulfilled. 可是当你把它放在一个合适他的事工，他不但是觉得他的生命里充满了意义，他也非常快乐。You don't have to motivate these people. 你不必去推动这些人。Because they're already doing what they love to do. 因为他们做的事情已经是他们非常喜欢的事情了。Many times we think of ministry and we think, oh, that's hard work. We need to put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into ministries that expresses joy from their life. We put people into And they will never quit because they are happy. 那他们也不会放弃，因为他们真的是很快乐。This is the power of this ministry placement process. 这个就是这个啊啊，有用特质来来放到事工里面的这个很很大的能力。And number four. 第四。When I discover these things about my life, it builds. A healthy sense of my own self-worth. When I'm doing such a job, my view of myself is a healthy view of myself. Fifty percent of people who are working today are failures because they have been placed into the wrong jobs. We found that fifty percent of people who are working today are failures because they have been placed into the wrong jobs. Has that ever happened to you? This has ever happened to you? Oh, it's happened to me. Uh, and no matter how hard I tried, I could never succeed. You feel terrible about yourself. But when you begin to do those things, That you are prepared by God to do, you become successful. 可是当你做的事情是神特别预备你做的时候，你就会发现你是会成功的。You have joy in your life. 你会有喜乐。And people will recognize it, and they will say, "You are doing exactly what you've been created to do." 人们就会认出来说，你被造，你你被造就是来做这件事情的。This serves to build up. A healthy sense of who I am and who God made me to be. This can bring out a healthy sense of who I am and who God made me to be. This can bring out a healthy sense of who I am and who God made me to be. This can bring out a healthy sense of who I am and who God made me to be. This can bring out a healthy sense of who I am and who God made me to be. This can bring out a healthy sense of who I am and who God made me to be. This can bring out a healthy sense of who I am and who God made me to be. This can bring out a healthy sense of who I am and who God made me to be. 就是要帮助每一个信徒找到神在他们身上一个特别的目的，然后能够呃，然有有一个很喜乐的呃呃一生。Now that does not sound like ministry, does it? 我这样子解释听起来不像事工，对不对 ？Oftentimes we say, "Oh, I need your help." 通常我们跟人说，哎呀，我需要你来帮助。Please help me so that we can have good church services. But you know what I already know. 不过你知道的事情，我现在也也知道。It's very difficult to get people involved in that way. 你要这样子来啊，带领大家一起来服侍是很不容易的。People never respond to needs. 人不会为了你的需要来帮助你。People respond to vision. This is true with raising money as well. This is true with raising money as well. If your church needs money, and you say, "Oh, we need money," no one gives. 
。当教会跟会众说我们需要钱，可是你发现大家都不太动。But if you have a vision， 可是当你有意向的时候 ，If that vision is very clear， 如果这是一个很清晰的意向 ，energy and commitment and finances come to that vision。所以你就会看到能力，还有肯定，还有财务就会一起聚集。The same is true for ministry. 这在事工上面也是一样。If you beg people to help you, they won't help you. 你如果恳求大家来帮你，他还不一定来。But if you can reveal their destiny and how they have been made by God to achieve a special purpose, they will help you and they will never quit. 可是，当你让他们发觉神在他们身上的心意，让他发现他来的目的，他们就不会再放弃你施工。This is a very encouraging message. 这是一个很带有鼓励的一篇信息。Today, as we study these five components of shape in detail, you can share these with your people. 今天我们会讲到这五方面特质，我们会很详细的来讲。你可以跟你的会众来一起分享。I have a second goal. 我还有第二个目的。I want you to analyze the order and the intensity of these messages because it's also a lesson in our preaching in our churches as well. 我希望你能够分析一下我们今天要讲的这五堂课。这五堂课它是越来越呃强烈的反映出你的人的特质。These messages lead to a very certain goal. 这一些呃这这一系列的呃呃信息会带到一个一个特别的目的。You will be able to launch a very successful class number three in your church as a result. Of this preaching, 这五篇呃六五六篇讲到下来会帮助你推动真正的一个三零一的课程。At that class, in just one day, you can double the number of ministers that you have in your church. 如果你这样做的话，一天之内你会增加双倍的人进来服侍。You cannot grow a big church without lots of workers. This course will help you to fill your church with happy, dedicated ministers of Jesus Christ. This course of training will help your church to help these people to be very happy, to give, to participate in your work. So, at the end of every session, I would simply like to stop and just pray for you. So, in every class, today's class is over. I will pray for you at the end of every class. Please join me now. 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 主啊，你不是只是随意的创造任何事情，而在我们的身上，你都有一个很独特的美意。This teaches us just how important we are to you. 这个这样的教导告诉了我们，我们对你是是你是真爱我们的。Thank you for your love. 谢谢你对我们的爱。I pray, dear God, that as a result of our time together, that we would discover and develop our own personal shapes today. 今天我祷告，我们会发现也发觉我们每一个人的特质。Help us to find the significance and success that comes from being the people that you've created us to be. 帮助我们了解，当我们成为合你心意的人的时候，我们能够带出来的影响。We're so great. I'm sorry. We're so grateful for our time together. 我实在是很感激你赐给我们这段时间。In Jesus' name. Amen.